Back to our series of 10 triggers for a fear-based mindset or emotional reaction. Number three, unjust treatment. A sense of promoting equality and fairness in society. Now, people will react to a sense of unjust treatment for a variety of reasons and in different ways. We can be impacted by our culture, our um, personality, our um, you know childhood experiences. And so that sense of unjust treatment really warrants a further exploration. And so when we talk about uh, how we might know that somebody is reacting from a sense of unjust treatment, one of the most common ways that people show this is through anger and frustration. That's oftentimes the most initial and immediate reaction someone might feel. So when people feel as if they're being treated unfairly, then we're likely to see that open anger, that open frustration, impeding their ability to think more clearly about what's happening in front of them. Our brains actually get, uh, are subject to distortion, distorted thinking as a result of the sense of unjust treatment. What else might they be likely to do? They're more likely to pursue additional action, uh, maybe challenging uh, an agreement or a decision, maybe uh, wanting to file a formal complaint or possibly appeal a legal decision. And then some people will naturally protest openly and engage in advocacy. And so there are many more ways that we might demonstrate a sense of unjust treatment, but to know that people will respond to a sense of treatment differently. How one person may want to be treated appropriately may not uh, jive or may not be consistent with somebody else's notion of fair treatment. In a fair society, everyone deserves equal opportunities and treatment. Unfortunately, injustice can still exist. I want to emphasize that from a conflict resolution perspective, particularly in our role as mediators, how important it is that we do make sure that we're managing a conflictual situation in a balanced way. I'm not even gonna say neutral, but in a balanced way that gives each party, each person, a sense of being treated fairly. This goes true for the business place as well. A leader interjecting in employee disputes. Again, what's driving that? And having that conversation, understand where somebody may be coming from can go a long way. When people feel heard, they feel listened to. And when they feel listened, they're ready to engage in further discussion about what opportunities exist to remove, eradicate, reduce that sense of unjust treatment. So be open and let's listen. When we embrace diversity and work towards equality, we do create a stronger, more compassionate workplace and society for all. Unjust treatment. Trigger number three.